the next topic team will be on uh, how you download and install uh, QTP uh, on your machine and go about uh, working with it further, right? So now, meanwhile, team, I do know a lot of you must be having questions. My intent is not not to answer question, but just the fact that once we go through the flow, your questions can be answered even while you're watching the videos. Your questions can be done. Uh, I don't know why the screen is flickering right now. It could be because of this. Um, let me close it and restart it. I'm just trying the uh, video recorder that I uh, downloaded Camstasia uh, to be able to break it into different pieces, but it's blinking too much. So I, I'll be able to cut this file also. Uh, the questions will come as you practice and that is where we'll get better. And as I explained to you in the bytes concept, bite-sized learning, you would have noticed that uh, with the video, we will start addressing questions. So 10 minutes video, some questions on it and so on. All right. So uh, let me go on with the next topic and uh, let's talk about this very, very critical thing. Team. This specific topic is all about how do you download and install uh, HP Quick Test Professional or the Unified Functional Testing Tool onto your system. Now that in the previous three chapters you are exposed to what automation testing is all about, how do you go about learning this? What are the different concepts in it? Let us focus on this and I expect everyone to try and get QTP installed on the system before the fifth session, which is topic five. What we are doing in this is primarily I will walk you through a document on how you can install it. So there are two portions team, downloading it, installing it. Then there's actually a third one, which is customizing some settings on your system to make QTP work. In fact, I will walk you through on that as topic five uh, in uh, when we start the next session. But for now, very simple. The easiest way for you to download HP Quick Test Professional or the Unified Functional Testing Tool is go to hp.com. Luckily, HP has been improving the way they represent some of this data information in the products. Uh, but yet not still uh, a very user friendly site yet. However, uh, with all due respect, if you go and look at, just search for the word QTP, all right? So either you're trying to download the version on QTP or it will tell you that, hey, you know what? There's no more QTP. We have changed the name or there's the latest version. Why am I asking you to go to hp.com? As you watch this video, uh, in 2013, end of 2013, we are using the latest version of 11.5 with a new name called UFT. All right, the new name that QTP is using is Unified Functional Testing Tool, and this is 11.5. So they're calling this product tool as UFT 11.5. So over a period of time, okay. Uh, in the next two, three years, there will be more UFT, UFT, UFT rather than QTP and so on. All right. This is the name rebranded. So after two years, there are chances that uh, this video may become irrelevant because it's now a completely new name, a completely new version. But what will remain same is to try and go and uh, click and search for specific things. So if you say QTP and then it will say recommended links for functional testing, right? Learn about functional testing solutions, blah, 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 and all that. Or you can click on products and services. It should be able to list all the different related products that are there. Or you go and search now for UFT or Unified Functional Testing Tool, all right? In this, you will be able to go directly to one of those uh, sublinks, which is hosting the uh, product itself. So click on automation testing for example here and let's see if we can find it under this. And out here team, you are at HP Unified Functional Testing Software. All right. So take the survey, not now. And what I want everyone to be able to do is click on the trials and demos and then click on this HP Unified Functional Testing. Okay. It may prompt you to enter a few information about yourself and then the download would start. 
and this download team uh, may take uh, a few hours depending on where you are and I believe if I'm not wrong give me a second please uh, just seeing how big is it yeah it's about it's about almost 1.8 GB so uh, lit, there's a lot of space required to download it at least the HP unified functional testing now there are other things that you could do uh, that is combined with it, the web services testing and all those things but for now just focus on the base unified functional testing tool and download that once you download the file then you need to get into installation the installation is also very straightforward it is step by step however we have created a good document that will walk you through at length uh, how it needs to be done all right use this document as a reference guide when you're doing installation so this document will walk you through uh, all the steps with screenshots on how you go about installing it on your machine so once you open that zip file that you download you click on the setup.exe and then you go through that entire process uh, and then if you continue to go all the way down you'll be able to uh, choose uh, the different options in fact there's nothing much as the different options there are only two things one is either you have a license or you want to work with a trial or what add-ins that you want to uh, install if you have the basic default ones checked in as you see here ActiveX, VB, Web and the UFT that is more than enough the other add-ins on a need basis as you go along you won't need it right now uh, and then you can say which folder you want to install you can talk about uh, uh, the uh, after the installation is completed it will prompt you to the screen where it will say configure your IE automatically to be able to work with UFT then there are something called as com and decom settings that it will do it automatically so check those two for sure the run license installation visit you don't need right now you have a 30 day trial that HP gives you to be able to evaluate the software after the 30 days you will need a license then to continue so till then you can use the trial or if you already have a license uh, that you purchased from HP you could use that license and then you keep it checked that's about it if you don't say run license installation wizard you don't even need to look at what is the next screen that will come all right just say run and you're all good now in the next session, we will talk about how you launch, how you make few settings, and we will go into the UI. And as you go along, team, there is a big list of topics that we will get into. And here is a quick walkthrough of some of those right now. Um, I think this is the document. Give me a second. Alright, so here is a document which is uh, listing all the topics of HP Quick Test Professional that will be presented as we go along. I'm going to take each concept and we're going to break it down. This session uh, so far, the four topics that we discussed have been uh, very theoretical in nature, but as we get into each concept, you will see that it goes more and more advanced. But the good portion in this is that uh, you will experience a lot of things in a very structured way as we go through things, okay? Now, as a part of this right now, we have about 90 odd topics. We may add more, we may delete more. And also the fact that not necessarily every topic will get covered. There may be 10 or 15 topics which we may not be able to cover because of the schedule or which are already there existing as uh, good enough recordings for you to be able to refer. Which are the topics to be come to as is. But all the frameworks, all the scripting, all the descriptive programming, all of that uh, we will go through at length for sure. Now, uh, this document I will also share with everyone. And what you could do is if you see that, hey, is there a, like a wish list we'll create of uh, any further topics that may need to get added to it. 
at this point uh, our topic 4 is also over